when I'm falling Niggas want it on me, want it to it on me Stone up, now I'm stony I got a lot of fake ones, I just want a bailout Niggas want it raw What's up guys? Welcome to the second episode of our series And today we're gonna actually go and try to check What we did this last two weeks As you guys remember, we the last two weeks we've been talking about How to help you guys kind of change up your diet and get to a point where you actually understand what you're doing wrong in terms of your diet. So today we're here to kind of use the result that you and I, we both work during this time and then we're going to see how to utilize them, right? As you guys can remember, like in the last video, like we've, we're talking about the fact that most people have this problem, like they can't lose weight or you understand, they cannot get to the weight that they are trying to achieve mostly because 100% of the time, they don't know what works for them in terms of diet. The working out aspect is also another part, but we're gonna talk about it in another video. But today we're gonna mostly deal with the diet part, right? So we actually, as I was telling you guys, you, have, you had to actually just record in like a little book like this one, what you're gonna eat on a daily basis for like two weeks. Like every single day kind of tracking the macros and I don't know, tracking anything that goes into your mouth and just letting it stay right there, you know. Now it's already the end of the two weeks, so I'm about to tell you what to do with this result that you actually have them. Like you definitely have your notes already, so now it's time that I tell you how to utilize them so that you can get to the point where, you know, you're going to be able to kind of understand what you're doing wrong with your diet. So. The first thing I want to tell you is like congratulations and uh, thank you for playing the game with me and uh, you know we're gonna go together through this and then we're gonna actually utilize what we've done so far and hopefully it's actually helpful for you so if so far you are enjoying it if it was a very nice process you know if you had any struggles during this time make sure you go down the comment zone below and then you drop whatever your, your impression have been like you know during this process and if you actually enjoy doing it you understand give a like to the video and then drop a comment down below tell me what was the hardest part was it actually seeing what you're eating on a daily getting to actually think more about what you're eating you understand and I don't know like just drop me a comment down below or if there's anything that you really feel like I should have explained more go down to the comment section and also drop a message you know drop a question or something I'll make sure I definitely answer as I always do to all the comments here and uh, also you can easily go and reach me out on Instagram over there I'll definitely make sure I reply to all my DMs so you're welcome to go there too so let's dive in guys the first thing you remember I showed you a sample of this you know that was me actually also tracking with you guys uh, my diet on that day that was week one that was a Monday week one if you go back to the previous video, you can actually see what it looked like. So now I want you to go through yours, right? And then you're going to open two uh, other pages too. We're going to start doing the same thing we did the last week, the last two weeks, on another two weeks. You understand? So the same tracking we've been doing for like two weeks, we're going to do it now on like the next two weeks. And then we're going to try and kind of modify a couple of things there so that we get to the transition part you know what i'm saying what i want to do here is what, what, what i'm going to explain right now so what i'm trying to do here is like we go through the meals that we had i want you to kind of differentiate them to three categories right i want you to differentiate them into in three categories mostly proteins fat and carbohydrates you understand Anything that are going to be proteins, I'm wanted, I want you to consider anything like meat, fish, eggs, anything like cheese, like let's say cottage cheese, anything like what, lamb, you understand, any meat sources, you understand, eggs, any protein shakes if you're taking any of this, any kind of meat sources, and that's, that'll be it for now. When you go to the carbohydrates, I want you to consider anything starchy, you know, starchy, like let's say you use like rice, brown or white you use macaroni spaghetti you use I don't know like uh, you use I don't know potatoes you know what I'm saying potatoes sweet potatoes all these little things anything starchy I want you to consider that as carbohydrates and for the fat I want you to consider anything like I don't know 
veg like vegetable oil that you'll be using to cook butter you know what i'm saying uh what else can you consider yeah butter anything avocados you understand all these little things and then you're gonna consider that what i want you to do now we're gonna have like a subclass of kind of fibers let's say we're gonna call them like we're gonna, we can use things as vegetables and consider them to be like like actually fibers and also fruit to be now a main sources of carbohydrate no like additional source of carbohydrates too you can put them down there the, like in both this section carbohydrates and actually uh carbohydrates and fiber and then this how what we're going to do i want you to do one thing you go down to the section where any meals you had right let's say you had a mcdonald you had a, like a burger big cheeseburger for mcdonald right so I want you to go down there and break it down to these three categories, okay? Like you're gonna take the meals. I hope, like I told you guys, you were supposed to kind of weigh them if you could have access to like a, a balance, like to a scale or something, right? Go there if you could weigh them and then take check how much like weight the steak in the McDonald's heart, right? How much weight the bread heart, how much weight the lettuce and all these vegetables heart. You understand i want you to also leave the cheese with the steak on the same thing and then count their way together right so now next i want you to actually go and definitely like like replicate like do what like you gonna you're gonna come and I, what i want you to do is anything junk that you'll be having like mcdonald pizza tacos all these little things that you'll be having that you know are junk I want you, if you were having them like three times in a day, to go down to two times in a day, right? At least to the first week. This first week as we are doing. If you were having them like two times in a day, go down one times in a day, right? If you were having them once in a day, like already for every single day, go down to, I don't know, six days a week or like four days a week. So a couple of days, you, are, you won't eat that. So what I want you to do is like kind of reduce, like, reduce the size like reduce the the, the the integration that you had with the uh with, with the with junk food and wood look we'll see what to do with that you know what i'm saying we are going to look for like ways to kind of replace it to make that space used by like more healthier like healthier meals okay that's the way we're going to move then from the second week if you could, if you're having like three McDonald's or I don't know three junk foods in a day, three junk meals in a day, at the second week, let's say first week you were not two junk meals in a day, second week you're gonna have to be at one meals, one junk meals in a day, right? And then these two other meals, I don't want you to kind of be like you are not gonna eat anything these days, but meaning if you had a chance to actually weigh these meals, right, you go through it. If you had as like carbs from in for meat, right? You said you could weigh the carbs that was in it. Let's say you were eating a lot of bread, a lot of um, you know, like a lot of bread. Let's say I'm talking about burgers, a lot of pizza, right? I want you to go there and have the same quantity, like the same a meal that will have the same weight as the one that you used to eat that was junk. But now over there, I want you to have like 60% of it. No, let's say 40% of it proteins, 40% of it, or maybe 50% maybe of that weight carbs, okay? And the rest of it, let it be maybe, I don't know, lettuce, you understand, like vegetables, right? Or you can have a fruit that will cover that other 20%. That's what I want you to do for the next, for the next two weeks. And then, Every single day you're going to weigh yourself and that's what we're going to track to see at the end of the two weeks, right? Now, the end game, the end game that we're trying to achieve over here is I want you to know that it's going to be mostly reaching to a point that we don't really have much of the junk meals in our, in our daily basis, right? This will help us kind of control, you understand? And at this point, please guys, like make sure you go to like any place and buy like this small food scale because I want you to be accurate with anything you put down. I, break, I broke it down for you, like how many, what kind of sources, what kind of uh, protein source you have, what kind of carbohydrate source you have, what kind of this you have. Like this is kind of general, right? You can 
pardon, we can go more down into details with these things and we can actually make sure that we understand way better with this, way better what we are doing here. So what I want you to do, anything junk that you had, that you wait here, just go through and I want you to have the same meal, like a meal that will have the equal size of that one. And then all I want you to do is, I want you to have that meal, but I want you to have insight, no fries, not a lot of sugar, no sugar at all. First of all, you cut sugar. Really little amount of oil, okay? And then a little bit, no much salt. Like if you, you can't drop salt, keep the salt. But what you're gonna do is like, you're gonna use the 40% weight of that junk meal that you never you used to have, like a meal. And then you're gonna soak, like you're gonna change it. You're gonna switch it to be proteins. You understand? Let's say your meal was, 100 grams, let's say that's an example. 40 grams of it is gonna be what? It's gonna be meat, like a protein sources, clean protein sources. Like 50% of that, it's gonna be carbohydrates. Let's say you can have then 50% of uh, 100 grams, that is 50 grams of rice. That's what you're gonna add. And the last 10 grams, the last 10 grams, I want you to use, for example, like lettuce for that 10 grams, or vegetables for that 10 grams, or even more vegetables for that 10 grams so that you can feel satiated, you know what I'm saying? And then from there too, you can have a fruits with it and that's the way to go. Now, I know a lot of you guys actually gain weight from drinking a lot of soda, a lot of coca, a lot of Fanta, a lot of Coke, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, I don't know, you know? So what I want you to do right here is to dump all of these things. Matter of fact, you can't even do them anymore because we said we are dumping sugars and everything, including in the drinks. So what I want you to do is like anything you were having as soda and junk drinks, I want you to flip it up, change it to kind of coffee if you are tolerant to coffee or to tea. If you like tea, you know, choose one of those. If you can't do none of these ones, switch it to water. You know what I'm saying? Same quantity of water, drink as much as you can. If you even can do double the amount of water that you used to do, double it. You understand? And keep it in track. You understand? I, it will really be helpful if you already have like a, like a stable time where you normally had your meals, of course, because at that point, it will be easier for you to switch, right? But at this point, what I want you to do is get to a point that you are slowly and easily retracting all the junk meals and the junk drinks out of your diet. And one second thing we're gonna do, don't eat late. Let's say don't eat like, like when it's like two hours before you go to bed, don't eat anymore. Or if you have to eat anything, eat any, that meal doesn't have to have like no, any carbs. You can actually stuff it up with a lot of vegetables and even having a fruit before you go to bed. And if you want to drink something, you feel thirsty, you have water, you have tea, and you have Coke. No, you have coffee without sugar. We're dropping sugars, and that's the way we're gonna, we're gonna make sure we control our weight. I don't know if this was explanative as explanative as I wanted it to be, but drop your comment down below what you think about this, and then definitely, if needed, you feel like there's something you want me to go more into details about here, drop a comment down, and I'm here for that, guys. I'll make sure that I come back with another video where we kind of dive deep into like more details, and I'm gonna make sure we can walk towards through this together, right? So the next two weeks, we're gonna make sure we kind of change the whole diet. Same process, Monday week one, Mo Tuesday week one, Wednesday week one, and so on and so on until we land to the second week. Every day, we remove one cheat meal out of our diet, like out of the previous week, okay? And we check our weight. Anything sugary, we're dumping that off. Everything too fatty, we're dumping that off. No fries, no sugar really little amount of salt and what we're gonna do we're gonna supplement we're gonna have more tea without sugar of course more uh, coffee and more water to stay more hydrated and more healthy right and then we're gonna supplement we're gonna change our meals any meals that we had let's say you had four pizza and it was like two kilograms i don't want to it's no problem you go and you take that and i want you to do the same two kilograms 
40% of that weight, proteins, of that two kilograms, proteins, 60% of it, carbs, okay? And then the rest of it, just stuff it with vegetables and all these little things. And let's see what comes out, out of it. If your meals are too big for you, reduce the carbs. Don't reduce the proteins, okay? Reduce the carbs, don't reduce the protein. Reduce the carbs and add up a little bit of vegetables. That will be the way to go, guys. Hopefully this was really explanative, as I said prior to this, so I'ma see you right next for another video. So guys, some of you guys been watching, but the YouTube analytics tell me that most of you guys are not subscribed, like 80%, come on guys. I'm doing it for you, right? I'm here for you guys. I hope I'm really bringing value to you. If there's anything you feel like I should be bringing more, feel free to let me know. I'm definitely here for you guys. And you can also go and check my Patreon. Right there, I try to be more explanative. I share more videos of what I can eat on a daily, what little exercises I do on a daily basis at the gym. You can subscribe to and get a membership there. And this will definitely help the channel a lot. Give a like to the video. And let's work, guys. See you guys on another video. Anything you want me to bring up next, feel free, either on my Instagram or down on the comment section. Drop a like, share this with anybody. I'll see you next. Until then, we stay very healthy, guys. Bye-bye.